Hello and welcome back to the Lobo Designs channel. My name is Heather Lynn. I'm the owner of Lobo Designs and I'm here today with an Adobe Illustrator tutorial on how to prepare fonts or text for laser cutting and engraving. So let's get started. Using the type tool, which is over here on the left, or hitting T on your keyboard, you're going to type out two separate words. For this one, I'm going to just use my name twice. So I'm going to type Heather in this font and then I will type Heather in a different font, which we'll use this one. Okay. So we are using this one at the top, which is just a regular print font, and then this one at the bottom, which is cursive or script, and it has connecting shapes and letters so that you can see how those need to be edited separately. For this bottom one, I'm actually going to make two copies. So I'm gonna hold down Option. I'm gonna make a second copy that I'm gonna thicken up because when you add a stroke to fonts or text, you need to do a few extra steps to make sure that that stroke is recognized by your laser. So let's get started with this top one first. The first thing that you do when you're editing text is make sure that you have selected. So you'll use your selection tool, which is this one up here, or V as in Victor on your keyboard. You're going to make sure that's selected and you're going to create outline. So you're gonna hit Command or Control Shift O as in outline, or you're gonna go up into the type menu and you're gonna pick create outlines. Once that step is done, it will now recognize the outline of each shape. And this, believe it or not, is ready for laser cutting or engraving. It's that simple when you have no other edits to it. So if you click on this, have it selected, and go into either View Outline or hit Command or Control Y, you'll be able to see that your laser can follow each and every path of each letter on here. So this is vectorized and ready for your laser can be exported in an SVG or you can actually copy and paste from Adobe Illustrator into Lightburn and cut it right on your laser or engrave it on whatever materials on your laser bed. We're gonna move down to this one. We're gonna switch back into preview mode. So we're gonna do view, preview, or command or control Y one more time. And again, we're gonna leave this one as is and we're gonna do those same steps one more time. But what you'll see is there's a step in the middle that you need to do to unite all of these letters together. So we're going to go up into type, we're going to go to create outlines or command or control shift O. And now once this is expanded, you'll be able to see the overlap. So the E is overlapping into the A, the A is overlapping into the T, so on and so forth. If you were to send this over to your laser as it is, the laser would ignore these areas. It would skip right over them. So when you are using fonts like this, you wanna make sure that you unite them as well. So I am going to go over here in the Pathfinder menu and you can hit Unite. And now that is all united together. And again, Command or Control Y will get you into the outline view to show you that it is now recognizable in vector form and you can send that over to your laser just as you can with this one up top here. Now for this bottom one, we're gonna thicken this up. So say that you wanted to cut this out or hang it on the wall. It's super thin as it is. So what you can do is you can add a stroke to it over here in the appearance panel. This appearance panel is actually on the properties tab. So if you don't see the properties tab, you can go up into the window menu and you can go down to properties so that you can see that. As always, these are customizable. You can move them around if you want to. You can actually split them out if you need to or dock them right back in. This one we're going to add a stroke to. So I'm going to go over here in the stroke panel over here, and I'm just gonna bump this arrow up. We're gonna do it a couple more times. We're losing the center of the E and the A for this, but let's just pretend that's not happening because this is just for tutorial purposes. So we're gonna bump this up one more time. Again, we lost some of the detail in the center, but that's okay for right now. So we have this stroke, and we'll repeat the same steps that we did for the above. So we're gonna go up into type, create outlines or command or control shift O. And what you'll see here is that, let me zoom in, all that it did is create an outline of the original shape of the font. It did not create an outline of the stroke that you added to this font. You have to expand it one more time in order to do that. So you're gonna go up into the object menu and you're gonna go down to expand and that will expand the stroke. So we're gonna hit expand here we're gonna hit okay on this menu as long as yours matches mine. And what that does is it expands out for the extra stroke. 
So we can zoom out a little bit and it looks a little funky as it is, but our next step, remember, is to unite. So we're gonna hit unite. And now all of these are welded into one shape and it's the same as it is above here, except it's thicker. Again, we lost the inner of the ease, so you can actually do some manual editing to get that back in there if you wanted to. But those are the overall steps on how to expand a font or create outlines on a font or text to prep it for laser engraving or cutting. And that concludes this tutorial. As always, feel free to join us in the Glow Create group on Facebook for additional tips and tricks on how to use Procreate and Adobe Illustrator beyond the screen to turn your digital artwork into physical products. If you enjoyed this video and would like to be notified of future tutorials, please hit the like button and subscribe below. Until next time, this is Heather Lynn of Lobo Design signing off. I'll holla at you later.